New at 10, a two news investigation. Each year, about 350,000 Americans die when their hearts stop, and the device designed to shock them back to life is never taken out of the box. Tonight, two news investigator Katie Legrone discovers why your best chance of surviving sudden cardiac arrest is less a matter of medicine and more of dumb luck. Lab Jr. wasn't even a teenager by the time he could turn dirt with the best of them. But on March 10, 2006, this young stunt seeker unexpectedly reached his limits. There was an emergency at the school and I had to come now. During a game of capture the flag, little Michael collapsed on the PE field of the Sebastian Florida Middle School. He was a picture of health. That afternoon, this picture of health died from sudden cardiac arrest. You know, you're full of disbelief and you just, it's, what do you mean my 12 year old is dead? That, how can that be possible? Sudden cardiac arrest occurs when the heart unexpectedly stops beating. The condition kills more Americans each year than breast cancer, lung cancer, and AIDS combined. We miss everything about him, his voice. Yeah, just his presence. Adding to their grief, discovering a device nearby may have kept little Michael alive. There was an AED in the office of the school, and the nurse didn't bring it out when she responded to the field. An AED, or automated external defibrillator, is a portable battery-operated device. Analyzing rhythm. Everybody stay clear. That shocks the clinically dead. Shock delivered. Back to life. It is the only way to save their life in that situation. Analyzing. Applied within the first few minutes of sudden cardiac arrest, doctors say AEDs can increase a victim's chance of survival from 2% to upwards of 70%. Shock advised. What are you supposed to say? Everyone clear? But experts agree this life-saving tool Stand clear. Shock delivered. is far from saving the number of lives it should. I just knew a, a player went down. Josh Miller of Ohio was 15 years old and never had a chance when he collapsed during a high school football game 13 years ago. See the helplessness of seeing my son passed away in front of my eyes that no family needs to go through this. His high school wasn't equipped with an AED. Today, they have at least six. But across the country, your chance of finding an AED is as spotty as the state rules that govern them. In schools, for example, Ohio leaves AED requirements up to school districts. In California, school AEDs aren't required at all. And in Florida, it's limited. State law only requires AEDs on public campuses with high school athletic programs. So this really qualifies as a public health problem, major public health problem. Because AED advocates like Ben Barbro, an ER doctor and professor in Arizona, say even when they're available, they're not always used. Remember, 12-year-old Michael Apt of Florida went into sudden cardiac arrest just feet from his school's AED. We were pretty outraged when we found out that it was there and it wasn't used. Sorry, I just get really upset over stuff like this because, I mean, there's just so much we could do and nothing's done. Claire Dunlap considers herself one of the lucky ones. There's no AED in many public places, public, public parks, public areas, that you, there should be one. Claire had just finished competing in a Florida high school ball game when she collapsed backwards and turned blue. Shock delivered. She credits a school AED 100% for saving her life. I would not be here if it wasn't out for that. <laughs> Michael's parents ultimately sued the school district and settled. The school he died at is now equipped with three AEDs. Seven years after Michael's death, Boy, I sure do miss him. his parents remain on a mission. To stop this tragedy from happening to other families. I don't ever want anyone to have to go through this. The Michael App Jr. Have a Heart Foundation has donated more than 40 AEDs to schools and organizations across Florida. One recently saved a teen. We saved one family from the grief. Grief of knowing what happened Shock advised. Just possibly didn't have to. I genuinely believe that could have saved his life, yes. And we wouldn't have to be having this conversation. Currently, about 2 million AEDs are scattered around the country, far below the estimated 30 million experts say are needed to adequately protect Americans. Katie Legrone, 2 News, works for you.
Now, the state of Oklahoma requires that schools have AEDs if funding is available. The state does not require training to use one, and a person using one in an emergency situation is protected under the Oklahoma Good Samaritan law from any civil lawsuit.